Oh, hi, Internet. My name is Paul Craigthorpe. This year I recently attended MozCon for my very first time, and I loved it. And I thought to myself, what could I do? What kind of a post could I write that would get some attention that other people probably aren't doing it this way? Maybe something that's a little bit unique. What I came up with are my 29 takeaways from MozCon, and it's all about the swag, baby. So first I'm going to start off with Unbounce. Unbounce had some amazing swag. They put on a great party at the Moz Crawl. There was some shuffleboard playing. They also had a ping pong table. And for these two events, they provided some very handy things like this Unbounce headband. So when you're playing shuffleboard and ping pong, you get a little sweaty. So you need something like this here to wipe the sweat off. They also provided a wristband, a sweatband wristband. Wipe the sweat away. Since it's sunny in some places where people came from, they also included this nice set of sunglasses. I quite like these. So I'm gonna use these a lot. Also, they included a beverage koozie. I'll also use this a lot because I drink a lot of Coke at the office and I don't like to get stains on my desk. They included a nice sticker, unbounce sticker. I can put that anywhere I want. Then we got the old unbounce button. Unbounce also provided a t-shirt, which you'll see right here. So overall, Unbounced did a great job with their swag. I look forward to seeing them sponsoring some events I go to in the future. Next up we have Optimizely. Optimizely also provided a pair of sunglasses. However, I'm less likely to wear these because they are goofy looking and everybody's going to ask, what does A, B mean? It's hard to explain it. They also provided this here, which is a little ice cube that you can light up and drop in your drink, but they float so they make your drink look really cool. Next up, they were the sole provider of pens. I'm very excited that they did provide pens because I did not bring one and I don't like bringing a laptop or a tablet to the conferences. So I usually rely on somebody there to have a pen to provide me. And what I like about this pen is they have a little window on it. And what it says here is, since Optimizely is an A-B testing company, they provided one of their tests in here the question is, which CTA gave a 29.6% conversion lift? And it goes through your options, try it out, test it out, give it a try, and then it says, see the winner at optimizely.com. See, now I have to go to their website just to get the answer to this question. I like it. It's a good pen. It's a handy little marketing tool. Optimizely also provided a t-shirt. You'll see that here. And that is that for Optimizely. Buzzstream did not have much swag, but they did provide something that I found useful. A bottle opener. You never know when you're going to need a bottle opener. If you didn't know, this little spot right here, you take that little tab there, you put it underneath the tab, and then you just lift up, and it opens your can for you. It's a can opener and a bottle opener. Thank you, Buzzstream. What conference would be complete without Kissmetrics and their mints? <sighs> Refresh it. They want to keep it fresh. Next up is Squarespace. Squarespace is awesome because they provided handy little notepads. And the reason I like these is because they were the only ones to provide notepads. I don't bring notepads to conferences, so I like to have a notepad to write stuff down. And it just so happens, an idea popped in my head while I was at the conference, an idea for a blog post, and it was all about the swag. So I started gathering a list of swag items that I got, and now I'm putting together a video for it. Thank you, Squarespace. Squarespace is also my winner for the most unique swag. This is something I've never even seen before, and I was amazed by it. What is that? What even is that? It's a sporkife! Hashtag sporkife. So it's a spoon. It's also a fork. Jab, jab, jab. Eat, eat, eat. And it's also a knife. It's got a serrated edge here. Although if you had a piece of food and you were trying to cut it, you'd probably have to, instead of using your fork to hold it, you'd probably have to use your finger to hold it probably get kind of messy. It's definitely the most unique swag I saw this year. I've never seen anything like it. Squarespace, you did a very good job. I'm going to remember your name forever now because of this sparkife. Moving on to user voice. Is it a key? No, it's a flash drive. Eight gigabyte flash drive. And what I like about what they did is they put case studies in some videos and loaded up this thing with some good stuff that, you know, is good for their brand. I like it because it's eight gigabytes. I like it because I can put it on my keychain. And who doesn't need a USB drive, honestly? Thank you, user voice. And now we move to the main event. This would be Moz. Moz provided some great swag. It's their event. You would hope they would provide good swag for us. The first item Moz supplied at MozCon is this, what can only be described as a Merce. That's right, a Merce. I'm gonna call it a man purse. It's got a little container here. 
shipping container here. And this is what held most of the other swag and all my other swag items you saw in this video, except for the t-shirts. Don't know that I'll ever use this again, but it was handy to hold all the swag. Next up is Roger the Mozbot. Roger has a slight temper. Check it out. He destroyed my orange juice. Anyway, that was Moz, Roger the Mozbot. My son loves him. Who doesn't love Roger? Roger! Next up, something that I was hoping or that I was planning on seeing because they provided these at our MN Search Summit here in Minnesota. And that is this. What is this? One part slap bracelet, one part koozie, and one part pocket protector. Keeping my pen straight there. Thank you, Moz. Appreciate it. Also a blindfold. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? So that's that. Next up, one very handy thing that I found useful is this USB recharging cable. Here on the top, there was a lightning connector for the iPhone, iPad. Below that, there is a micro USB for your Samsung devices, whatever. I also was able to charge my backup battery with this. Below that is a mini USB. So this is a very handy little cable, plus it's retractable, so it's easy to store. Doesn't go in very easy, but it's easy to store. So I'm probably gonna keep that in my travel bag. Thanks, Moz. Moz knows that when you go to conferences, you get tired and you're gonna need energy. So they provided vitamin C. I didn't drink mine. They also had Coke. Okay, Moz also provided what I am dubbing Beats by Raj. They provided us with earbuds, and on the earbud is a little picture of Roger the Mozbot. So that's why I'm calling them Beats by Raj. Also, one thing to note about these, they actually do work decently. I'm not gonna use these as my main source of music, but if I accidentally forget my headphones at home, I'm gonna keep these in the office and I'll be able to use them to listen to some music. Uh, it's not really swag as much as it is just a necessity for uh, events, a lanyard. This is what held the name tags. And what I liked about their name tags is on the front they had your name and stuff, and on the back they had the schedule. I really like that. I used it a lot. Thanks for the lanyard. Next up is something every traveler needs and it's a luggage tag. Not just any luggage tag, that's a Roger luggage tag. I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna put it on my son's backpack because he really wants it. He's very excited to have this. He loves Roger. Thanks, Moz. Moz also provided a little pin. Just another thing my son's gonna like. Thanks, Moz. For those of you that don't know, Rand is kind of a germaphobe. For instance, he's not handshaking people. Fist bump. But that's okay, because I think fist bumps are way cooler. So what they did is they provided everybody with a container of hand sanitizer. It's gonna keep your hands clean. But come on, let's call a spade a spade. Fist bump's way cooler, and it's more sanitary. Don't really need this, but thanks anyway. Also in the bag, Moz provided lifesavers, because they know marketers are stinky. We have stinky breath, we need mints. So we have two providers of mints this year, Kiss Mint Tricks and Moz. Everybody smells so good there. Moz also provided this handy book from our speaker, Richard Mulligan. It is called Buzzing Communities, How to Build Bigger and More Active Online Communities. Richard Mulligan gave a great presentation and here's our present from him. Thanks, Richard. Moz also provided a nice shirt for everybody. You'll see that here. Very stylish and it fit me, Unbounce. So that's it. That wraps up this post about the MozCon 2014 swag. Real quick before I go, I want to just leave you with some suggestions. If you are thinking of sponsoring an event and you are going to provide some swag of your own, here are a couple of things that I suggest definitely including. One, pen. I need pens. When I go to a conference, I expect there to be a pen. Give me a pen. Two, notebook. I need to be able to write stuff down from the pen I just got. So give me a notebook. Those are the must-haves. You gotta have them. Some things I recommend. One, coffee mug. Coffee mugs are great because pretty much all my marketers drink coffee and even if you don't what I do on my desk is I put all my stuff in it so now I have a reminder anytime I want to go get my stuff what company I got this mug from thanks MN search another thing I suggest is a mouse pad I'm still using the same mouse pad I got from SMX advance in 2011 someone else provide me with the mouse pad please another thing I suggest is a coaster coasters are really great because they keep pop from 
dripping all over your desk. Give me a coaster! Another thing I suggest is a water bottle. We had a lot of complaints at our summit event that there were not water bottles for people to fill up and drink their own water. People like water at these events, so give them a jug to fill up some water in. So that wraps up my 29 takeaways from MozCon, literal takeaways. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for things that you'd like to see at a conference, leave them down in the comments below. If you have any comments on any of the things that we got from MozCon, also leave those down in the comments below. I look forward to a fun conversation with you all. Yeah.